Good afternoon. Welcome to my daily chat. Um, this is episode number 478. That's a lot, yes, I know. And the topic today is the first day of autumn, because this is September 22nd. And I'm calling it dating changes, because I want to talk about a couple of things that are brewing that you may not be aware of. Before I get into that, let me introduce myself and um, give a quick intro so then you know why I do this stuff and where you find more information about me. My name is Barry Selby. I am a best-selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert, and help strong, successful women find balance in love, life, and business. I'm also a passionate champion for the divine feminine, and every day for the last almost couple of years now, it's getting to be, I do now daily talks, the first few were weekly, and daily talks called Messages for the Masculine to Inspire the Feminine Heart, and so inspire your feminine heart. There we go. And every day we talk, do a talk around the area of relationships, love, romance, stuff like that. And today's topic is inspired because of the date change, because something else is coming. So again, this is episode, episode number 478, and the topic today is first day of autumn, dating changes. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> so um, it's funny, I mean, I've already seen posts on social media today about the weather changing and how fall is happening and there's a really cute little comic video about someone like realizing the clock's changed to September 22nd so now it's the fall so they go dressed up in their warm warm weather gear go outside and are absolutely baking because it's still hot and humid so nothing's really changed in the weather but the calendar shifted and my point I want to make or, or should I say where I want to go with this is once the season shifts to fall you're starting to look towards the holidays you may not be aware of this yet but subconsciously, I suspect, your radar, your subconscious programming is leaning into what's coming soon, which is, well, one thing, for example, for the Americans, is Thanksgiving. Yeah, I'm going to talk about that. I know it's early, but then, of course, Costco has been showing Christmas decorations for a month already, so I'm not that early. Thanksgiving is a time of year where, for a lot of people, there's a lot of family pressure. Now, not everybody does. I mean, I don't have family here, so my Thanksgiving to go back to England would be pointless. So my Thanksgiving is with friends, so it's a lot easier for me. But for some people, having a challenge, or I should say going home for Thanksgiving is one of the most challenging things on their calendar. So I'm giving you a head start by giving you some tips on that. But also, it's leading towards the holidays as well. So not only Thanksgiving, but Christmas. Um, yes, Halloween's in there too, but that's not quite the same effect. But Thanksgiving and Christmas represent for a lot of people the experience of... Um, family and if you're dating someone or just started dating somebody there's a certain word I like to use in this context called pressure because for that period that's um, especially if you're not um, under 25 if you're someone who's been through maybe if you've been through a divorce and you're in your 40s um, there's there, there's a change that happens for us as we're adults where if we have elderly parents who are alive and we're not married we get pressured and I'm including myself in that one. I had definitely received that over the years. My parents have given up on me now, thankfully, or given up on that concern, or I should say my dad has. My mum passed away a few years back. But for a lot of people out there, this paradigm of going home to see the family at Thanksgiving is one of the most challenging things of the year. In fact, um, John Bradshaw is quoted as saying, I'm going to paraphrase, I don't remember that quote. He's quoted as saying that if you think you're, if you think you're, um, if you think you're, I'm not sure if it's awake, conscious, or developed personal growth. I think it's some of the lines of, if you think you're awakened, try going home for Thanksgiving. And that sums it up right there. Because for most people, including you, going home for Thanksgiving can be a very challenging time because you're facing all your childhood stuff. Because when you go home to see your parents, if you've been away for years, decades, going home tends to bring back a lot of childhood memories, especially if your parents still live in the home you were raised in. Oh, joy. So the opportunity you have, the challenge you have, the invitation you have, is to change the paradigm. Because if you don't want to do the same thing you've done for the last 10 years when you're going for Thanksgiving, presuming you do, there's an opportunity to do things differently, which is to take ownership of your own stuff. Yes, stuff, that word I used to cover a lot, a gamut of technical things. But what I'm speaking about specific, specifically, I said that word clearly, is to take ownership of your reactivity and your reactions and your feelings. This time of year also evokes some other things, including um, nesting energy, including becoming reclusive, including becoming more, um, what should I say, less active 
even though this is still September, and it's only the 22nd, but we've turned a corner in the calendar, so to speak, and for a lot of people, not even consciously, but under, under the layers of life, experience, everything else, there's gonna, there, there is, tends to be this slowly brewing disquiet. There's slowly, if, um, like, like a very slow bubbling um, pot, so to speak. So the energy is picking up. It's not conscious yet. It's not above the surface yet, but it's you start to feel, you may start feeling a disquiet or a certain unsettled feeling. Now it may be nothing yet, but I pretty much guarantee you the next three or four weeks is going to feel more evident because you're getting close to that time. And for most people, getting around Thanksgiving is one of the most challenging times of year. As I mentioned, to go home to see your family. I wish it was the most loving, joyful, expressive time of year, but for most people, it's not. In fact, for most people, it's a time they'd rather avoid. So I want to give you a couple of clues, some tips, some guidance as preparation for what's going to happen in basically two months' time. So this is 60 days away. However, it can still evoke a lot of stuff for you. I know I've got friends who've been through this, and I've watched my many friends and relationship partners go through this too. So I'm moving away from the relationship-concentric point for the moment. I'll come back to that in a moment. But things you do for yourself is, first of all, really focus on you. Going back to see your family is one of the hardest things to do when you're focusing on you in the sense of taking care of yourself. Because when you go back to see family, you're still focusing on you, but through their magnifying glass and their criticism and their upset and their judgments. You know what I mean? So if you focus on your self-support first, and next 60 days is a great time to do that because you've got two months planning to do this over, to work with your own self review, your own self-support, and your own self-love. Yes, that wonderful thing I call about self-love is the most, probably the most powerful, potent potentials, all the P words, and principles for how to be in the better place when you go see other people. When you fill up your own tanks of love, self-love first, what happens out there doesn't impact you as much, including family. Yes, including family. So if you're planning to go home for Thanksgiving, I would recommend doing the self-love practice I recommend and I'll give you the link to the where you can actually get the self-love guided meditation that I offer, to do that for the next two months. It would transform your experience when you go and see family if you've had a challenging time in the past. I can tell you that now. It also changes the way you are in the world as well, which is another side benefit. So that's one piece, which is really get your ducks in a row before you go home to take care of yourself and put yourself first. Because when you go home for your family, they know all the buttons to push and those, key, those ways to get in to really um, undermine your self-confidence. That's the, not their job, but it's their habit. So if you work on that for the next two months to really build up your own support and you put in firm foundations, and self-love is one of the biggest ones, by the way, then you'll be in a much better place to go home and see, much better place to go home and see your family. Back to relationship for a second. If you're single going home for Thanksgiving, you know the routine probably by now, where your parents are sitting there going, so when are you gonna meet somebody? Or if you're with somebody in a relationship, it's going to be, when are you going to get engaged? Or if you're engaged, it's going to be, when are you going to get married? You know the drill. Basically, whatever you don't have, they're going to say, why don't you have that yet? And that is one of the challenges that comes with going over, going over Thanksgiving. So coming back to what I said before about self-love, self-support, building the foundations, that's what you do first anyway, if you're single or in a relationship. Because when you build up that support for yourself, going home to see family becomes less invasive and less button pushing because you don't have the buttons to be pushed. When you build your self-support and self-reliance and self-confidence, those buttons get removed or at least get protected so they can't push them. And that's a healthy way to go back to see your family. If you're in a relationship and you go home for Thanksgiving, another thing you can do is have a really good conversation with your partner about where you stand. A really good, honest, vulnerable, true conversation with your partner of where you stand with each other. So when you go back to your family, whatever they say, you're on the same page. And whatever they don't say, you can be clear with. And also, however they look at you, you can stand in your truth and know where each other stands. Because for many couples going back for Thanksgiving, if they're in a new relationship since the last time they went back, a lot of times things come up at the dinner table or in the kitchen or over cocktails or whatever it is, where the, um, I'm gonna say this, a lot of wedges get shown up at these places, these times, because there's a way of treating the outsider, which is your partner, if you're going to see your own family, where they can be judged harshly. And if you're really in a healthy relationship, you're going to stand with her, your partner. I was say her, but it's like if you're a woman, stand with your man. So if you're going home to see your family, remember that your partner is the outsider. 
especially if it's a new relationship they haven't seen before. If you've been going by fam, if you've been going as a couple to your family for years, this is not an issue. Well, it might be, but this is the thing. If you're in a new relationship, going home to see family for Thanksgiving, the other person is the outsider. They may feel that. So the more you can stand with them, connect with them, and be with them in support, the better off you're going to be when you go home, and the better off your relationship will be when you come back. That's the key, by the way. So these two things I want to make sure you get the point of is supporting each other in partnership, getting clear about what you want with each other, because you may find, frankly, that the person you're with may not be the one you want to take home for Thanksgiving. That's true too. And that could be a whole different conversation at the dinner table with your family when they go, what happened to your partner? I'll leave that in your hands. But I would remind you again that self-love is a pow powerful piece of the um, foundational building blocks that will change the way you relate to everybody else. And especially family at Thanksgiving, the more you love yourself, the less they impact you. So to, tell you, to give you a quick little link, you can go check it out. My, my, I'm actually updating the page because really, I, I, really, I need to label it differently. I call it the self-love mirror meditation guidebook. It's not, it's just a guided meditation practice. And that's what it is. So I'm going to relabel. I'm actually going to re retitle it. But you can still go there now and get it or take a look at it, which is at barryselby.com, my website, barryselby.com, forward slash self-love, one word. And I'll put the link in the comments below. If you have questions, comments about this broadcast, please put them below. And if you want to go deeper and talk privately, you have to do it on the screen, you can go to my website and sign up for a discover session with me. It's a free gift from me to you. You go to barryselby.com forward slash chat, sign up for a chat, get on my calendar, let's talk, and I'll get you moving forward and how you can be clearer before you go on with Thanksgiving. Um, this is my daily Facebook Live, by the way, if you haven't seen it before. And if you watch it on YouTube, that's where it goes as well. So on Facebook, I put the replays up on my business page, which is barryselby.author. On YouTube, it's my channel, which is Barry Selby, and the playlist is Messages from the Masculine, um, and also now my podcast, which is on iTunes, which is Barry, so sorry, which is Messages from the Masculine, the podcast by Barry Selby, and you can subscribe there and download the broadcast and listen to them there on your phone or wherever you happen to be going. It is an audio broadcast. Um, I think that's it. I want to make sure I get this out there because it is now the new season of fall, autumn, what you want to call it. So things are changing, and you may want to take to heart some of the messages I just gave you. It may just make your Thanksgiving a whole lot better. I appreciate you watching as always. Please take care of yourself. I'll put the links in the comments below, and if you have any questions, put them in there too. I'll see you again tomorrow, same time, same channel, 5 p.m. Pacific time, right here. I'll see you again then. Bye.